Growing up as a kid in Ireland where ice hockey wasn't very big, the only permanent ice rink in Ireland was Dundalk in the Republic. But then that got closed down so there wasn't much ice hockey anymore. A lot of it um, is to do with the lack of facilities that are available throughout the country. Um, we're quite fortunate to have uh, a, a roller hockey rink that the guys have um, put together here in Longford. Um, there's not a lot of facilities. Um, I'm quite fortunate that I come from, from Belfast where two ice rinks are, are readily available to us. Um, but in the Republic of Ireland, I know a lot of the guys that we play roller hockey against here, um, they really struggle to find facilities. And it's part of the reason that roller hockey has grown so much in the Republic of Ireland particularly. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, attempts at the moment to try and get some permanent ice rinks and it would be fantastic for the, the community in the Republic of Ireland as well as Ireland as a whole to, to have more facilities and to help grow the sport. At present we have a decent, I believe it's 10 teams competing at a junior level. Some of those vary from under 8, under 10s, under 12s, under 14s and under 18s. At the moment what we use is the temporary rinks because those are the only facilities we have available within the Republic of Ireland. Well, how we use these is for three months of the year we get the juniors to train on ice and for the rest of the season they move to inline and it helps both organisations, both the IHI and the IIHA, develop and gain new members and the skill level has noticeably been increasing over the past few years. Overall the teams are developing and we have more and more funding uh, hopefully coming our way to help improve the facilities and the quality of hockey we have in this country. My name is Guido, I'm originally from Latvia, but I've lived in Ireland for the past few years. And I used to live in a quote remote area where there's no hockey clubs around, but I eventually found one in Mayo, and it took me an hour to drive there every time for training sessions. Our team, the Mayo Bulls, we're registered with Inline Hockey Ireland, and the two locations where game days take place is over here in Longford, and the other one is across the border uh, in Northern Ireland, in Port of Downs. It takes about an hour and a half to get to the rink here in Longford and it takes about three hours to get to the rink in Port of Down. And we just, we just do it because we love hockey. Every, I, I speak for everyone on the team when I say there's no sport that comes close to this. The, the speed, the, the physicality and everything is just, it's just amazing. I've been a fan for it for years and I really wish that I started playing it myself earlier but better late than never. Me growing up. I kind of excelled more than everybody else and there was another player as well, he's playing in Canada because it just, it wasn't suiting him. But like me, I'm not going anywhere so the skill level that I'm at, I just have to play older and enjoy it as much as I can because it's a passion that you don't want to lose, especially travelling three, four hours up and down the country to play, to play what you love. I love watching it on like the fact YouTube, just the skill the NHL players have, I want to have that skill level. Like the things they are like capable of doing, the athleticism they have is incredible. But where I live, it's very restricting to me to play ice hockey all the time, considering that is an hour away to do my weekly training session. And where I live, I can't even train outside without damaging a stick. So it is hard playing at, at this age with the team I with the team I love, and I will not lose. And just keep going. And the reason why I do it is because I love the sport and it's just a skill level that no one can ever take away from you and you will always have and always have a passion for the sport and a love for the sport that no one else can take away. Now this video is powered by World of Warships, which is one of my favorite games to play, especially when I'm on the go traveling just like this. When I've got a three, four hour layover at an airport, which doesn't really give you enough time to you know, go into the city and check the place out that you're in. Playing World of Warships is an awesome way to make sure that I'm staying alert, I'm doing something that's engaging, whether I be playing with my friends, my teammates. I love the fact that this game makes you think because it's a tactical shooter game, unlike some of the other games that you have on your phones that are just, I guess you could say, a way of killing time. I like to play games that make me think, that challenge me, because it means that you get better at making decisions at the drop of a dime or making decisions under pressure. And that's exactly what games like this do, aside from being just a great time to be able to kick back and play a game with my friends or my teammates. I never thought I'd be playing a tactical naval shooter game, which almost borders on a strategy game, but I really enjoy playing this game. A lot of the friends that I play hockey with also play this game. It's always just a great time to get online, cut back, and just enjoy blowing things up. Of course, if you want more information, I will put a link down below in the video description. Make sure you check it out. You seriously will not be disappointed. Prove yourself in the world of warships.